All right, welcome to the Captivate UI intro tutorial. Uh, in this, we're just gonna go over a little bit of the, the layout of Captivate, how the UI is set up before we uh, dive into all of the, the features individually. So uh, you got our status bar up here at the top. You can see that there's a, like a play and a pause button. Um, we have uh, a way of enabling or disabling Ableton link here. And you can see uh, the, this lists the number of link peers. So I've actually got some, some DJ software open right now. So I've shown, it's showing one link peer there. Uh, a tap tempo button that you can click to change the BPM. You can also change BPM directly um, by like dragging up and down or left and right. And then here you've just got your 4-4 uh, your four, four time kind of beat marker. Um, you can uh, undo and redo up here, as, as well as Control Z and Control Shift Z. Uh, and then we've got some, some MIDI mappings here, along with our D, uh, serial connections. So we've got, you see I've got an NTEC DMX device over here, and then a couple MIDI devices, and just one of those is enabled. Uh, then save and load buttons, and uh, this will make more sense once we get a little bit more into Captivate, but uh, you can choose which parts of the of your, your program that you want to save and and be selective about that or save everything. And the same goes for loading, so that if you want to pick and choose and just load certain lighting scenes, um, you can do that. And anyways, that's it for the top bar. Oh, and then you've got a little a little status indicator here for whether or not DMX and MIDI are connected. And you can see I've got both. And then uh, we've got our menu bar here on the left. So you can see right now I'm at a little gear icon. So that means that we're at the, uh, the kind of the DMX configuration uh, menu or the DMX configuration window. And this is where we configure our DMX universe, tell Captivate kind of which fixtures we have and where they're located in space. And then here in the uh, here we have light scenes. So you can see if I start clicking on these, um, this is where uh, the, the this is where we configure the way that our lights are going to display. And so we've got a whole bunch of tools going on here. And don't worry about how this is working just yet. We're going to get into this uh, later in the series. Uh, and then the the next menu we have here is the our visualizer menu. So you can see we got a whole bunch of visualizers here, and this is kind of responding to what the lights are doing right now. And so, yeah, we've got just, a, a, these are our visual scenes and configurations for those. And then the last thing we've got is our uh, DMX console. So this is just where we can see all of the DMX values being updated in real time. And if you hover over one of them, you'll kind of get a sense of of what that channel is and uh, what it's doing and what its current value is. So, uh, and then I think one last thing, we got this this master over here and you can see that brings down all the master channels. And I think that's about it uh, for, for the UI. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video.